Okay. Things look like they're working. I see the broadcast. I see the microphone. I don't see the viewers. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna zoom this one up. I have explored just over a third of the map in the states so far with the states that I have. So I've got like double of what I've seen I haven't seen. <laughs> So that, that's pretty neat to know that uh, you know, of all this yellow, of all I've seen, there's roughly twice as much that I have not that I still got to do. But I just, I, I'm headquartered in Las Vegas. I just, I had a second um, garage in Flagstaff, a third one up in Salt Lake. I decided to move my Arizona operations down to Phoenix. So I just bought the garage in Phoenix. I'm going to sell the Flagstaff office, which is bittersweet. I, I like have in the office here in Flagstaff. So uh, I gotta go to the driver manager and here's here's where I okay so I have the uh, so who's based out of where that's the thing I don't know I need my garage manager that's what I need okay garage manager Flagstaff three of three I've got I'm based there um, John's based there, who's on duty. Uh, I think I'm gonna lose, I think I'm gonna lose these driver jobs if I move them, me and her? She's, oh, she's coming back anyway, right? Is she, no, she's got a mobile barrier, oh crud. Okay, so, ugh, all right, garage manager, I think it is what it is. So I need to take the Flagstaff one. I'm going to take John. I need to move him. So I need to go, well, let's go, let's go back to the garage <coughs> really quick. Summary. For a week, almost a half million. Uh, truck maintenance, 10,000. Drivers pay, 111, 13 fuel for the drivers profit quarter million dollars average daily profit 40,000 I compare that to Las Vegas average profit 58 it's good to see this stuff good to check the biz Salt Lake I only have two drivers average profit 35 I need a third driver there but I am going to uh, go back to the Arizona one actually I gotta go to Phoenix garage slot I'm going to move John boy there wait I'm not hiring a new driver I'm moving a driver John relocate okay <coughs> John's gonna be relocated to Phoenix he's gonna take bay number two no truck aside Well, let's just go back. Let's go back. He's got no truck because he's his his truck was the uh, I gotta go to truck manager. I wanna go to table view. It's a Kenworth, I think, this one. Driver NA. Alright. So this one I wanna do on a oh, it's, it's not that difficult. Tr truck manager. Kenworth, Flagstaff, relocate it, send it to Phoenix, get it to John, that's his truck, that's what he's been driving, there we go, so it's a two-step process, all right, now I gotta go back to garage manager, garage manager, and I gotta go to Phoenix, and I'm gonna pick Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. How many times do I got to do it? <clears throat> I'm talking with my hand in front of my mouth. <coughs> Garage manager. I'm sorry. Let's do table view. Map view. I'm sorry. Phoenix. Third bay. We're going to assign. Oh, what am I stupid? 
Oh my gosh. Driver manager. <laughs> Where is she? Sabrina? Sabrina C. All right. You are going to be relocated, my dear, to Phoenix with John and I. We're the Phoenix crew. All right. Now we got to take your truck. So now I go to the truck man manger. I'm going to go to the table view. And it's the... It's the... Where is it? N.A.? Oh, here we go. The Kenworth T60. No driver assigned. We want to relocate this to Phoenix, Arizona. There you go, lady girl. And now I can go back to the driver manager. That's right, that's me. I'm going to relocate myself to Phoenix, Arizona. There we go. And then I got to go to my truck manager. Take my truck. Where is it? The Volvo VNL. Reload. I don't want to relocate it yet because I'm driving it, right? So again, if I go to map, oh, now it's got me in Phoenix. Okay, well, I guess, I guess that happens. Okay, so that's the thing that happens to truck manager then. If I go to, um, where is it, where is it? Why am I drawing a blank? And a my Volvo VNL, I'm going to relocate it to Phoenix Bay One. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so I thought I was going to drive to from Flagstaff down to Phoenix, but I just just had the thing sent back down. So I believe I am I'm in Phoenix right now. Oh gosh, and I'm obviously not in park. So I was going to do a job, I was going to drive, but now maybe what I need to do, if I go back here to Garage Manager, okay, first of all, the bank. I borrowed money, I could repay this loan. $10,000, yes. I have, oh, $12,000, and in, in, I have to sell, I got to sell the other garage. So, oh, I wanted to drive up and sell it from there, but if I go Flagstaff, oh, i got to move my trailer, too. I've got a trailer there. 100% productivity? Uh, um, oh, okay, so uh, let's see. Where's Trailer Manager? Flagstaff, the Kenworth m Okay, I'm going to relocate this to Phoenix. Okay. Container trailer, there you go. All right, now that's gone. Now I can go back to Garage Manager, Flagstaff, and sell it. Sell your garage for 180000 yes. Back to two garages. Three of three in Phoenix, two of three in Vegas, two of three in Salt Lake City. I can buy a new truck. And hire a new driver. I got $192,000. Let's go back to truck manager. I've got two Kenworths, two Peterbilts, two Volvos, and an international Lone Star. So I, I need a Mac and an international Lone Star. I think I want to look for this. So and if I go to truck dealers, I don't have a what? I don't have Western Star. How do they not have Mac on here? Is it Mac? One? Western Star. The only one I know of is the one up in Lewiston. Okay, I guess I just haven't discovered a Mac. Uh, International. Uh, there's one up in Flagstaff. I'd have to drive up there again. Or, oh, shoot. I mean, I know there's one up in Price. Is it Price, Utah? Provo. And Denver. 
Uh, I don't know what's in Yuma. I don't know what's in St. George. I don't know what's in Vegas. Ugh, maybe I'll go to Vegas. Maybe I'll drive into Vegas and see what's there. I'll take a load into Vegas or Yuma, whatever, whatever's, whatever brings in more money. We'll see what kind of trucks there. If it's an international or a Mac, I'll get it. So that's what we'll do now. Job market, freight market. And I'm going to be here in Phoenix. Wait a minute. Do I want to... I don't want to look at the cargo market, I guess. I can get a trailer, too. Um, Phoenix to Bellingham, Oakland, Stockton, Burlington, Clovis, Sandpoint, Lamar, Artesia. Rafael, Barstow, Socorro, sorry, I read top to bottom, Sierra Vista, Central Kingman, Grand Cayman, Yuma. Right, I don't see any to Vegas. I don't see any to Las Vegas, so we got one to Yuma. Milk, 41,074 pounds. I don't know what I need, where I'm at for sleep. Hold on, I need to get, I need to get out of here real quick and look at... I need to sleep first. Okay, I'm going to sleep here and then check the market in the morning. That's going to be the way to go. All right, so... Sorry about all this. <coughs> all right, first... Spending the first night in the new garage here in Phoenix. So here I am in the building. This is our operation. Looks a lot like the one in Flagstaff. Got the fan out here and everything. Got my B-Wolves plate on there, which is noticeable around here because B-Wolves are an Arizona, Phoenix, Arizona team. I got a couch, nice leather couch back there. The office is back through the door. So uh, yeah, this is the shop. We've got like a V, looks like a V12 or a 16 hanging on the thing there. I'm going to sleep here tonight. It's Wednesday. Oh, look, you can even see the amusement park across the street. Beautiful, good day. We will go inside and just check the check the job boards from my laptop. Okay, having a, a shower and setting things up in the office finally. Um, getting used to stuff. They're still bringing the TV and stuff like that down. <laughs> Phoenix. So I'm looking. I'm looking either Vegas or Yuma. There's Yuma lift truck. Let's see if there's any Vegas, Los Angeles, Ehrenberg. Nope. So it looks like that. We'll take this one to Yuma. We got the lift truck from Phoenix. Three hours, three hours. The plaster and sons to the rail export. Oh boy. It is a high value cargo. It is standard delivery, heavy, and articulated trailer, 146. Let's go get it. <coughs> Does it show? Okay. All right, that's fine. Continue. All right, here, let's get started. Up. We're going to do this. Oh, that's right. We got the. We're working on getting to the end of our different languages. We're almost done. We'll pick something English, then this, and then two more. Okay. All right. Shop's in good shape. Looking brand new. Rolling out. And in the Phoenix Sun. Nice new property here. Fairly clean. Place to sleep up top there if you're in town. Not for too long. Vending machine, someone's got to take the trash out. This is Crestway Internet Crestway Interstates new home in Phoenix. A 
no stranger to the city, so. It's about time we located here. Passing 34th. Kenworth dealer, I already have two of those, so that's what I'm not going to get. Finest. You see them at the B-Wolves games. Print. Take it right on 30 seconds. Sail part. This traffic doesn't stop this way, right? Pick up some donuts. Well, we could say that I grabbed a couple before I started, right? <coughs> the Walbert. Catalina Drive. Tire. Like Some ice cream. It's 8:15 a.m. at 95 degrees. So it's never too early to get yourself a cone. This is kind of a busy intersection. Now this guy's turning, but I can't see on these mirrors. I stocked my my cart there at the what's it called mark? Oh gosh. I fuel up with a gallon. Hey Black Black Thomas. around the city here. Had one last dinner at the Stadium Club at Flagstaff. I mean, I'm sure I'll be back in town there, but it'll just be visiting. It won't be, it won't be staying. There's a little more operations there. Heading over towards the um, sort of Scottsdale area. Have my house. In the game. So here's the plaster and sons. We stop in there and talk to the the job boss. Foreman, and yeah, he's the only have one thing here to pick up. That's the lift truck, 118,500 pounds, and they need it. <coughs> they need it by Wednesday, 6:39. It is Wednesday, 8:24. But plenty of time. Should be these AI. Do they keep telling me, sure? You sure you're checking out? I'm gonna try. Oops. Master and Son's doing brisk business in Phoenix right now. A lot of new construction, a lot of people moving out here. A lot of new Beatles fans. And Cats fans. Don't want to hit this front loader. Put a nick in it. Holy cow. That is a big piece of machinery. They're going to stick that thing on a rail or in Yuma and send it off to who knows where? Like Houston or something? I don't know. That thing is big. 
All right, gonna hit the T. Work the landing gear up there. Check the lines. Everything looks good. Pop back inside. 88 degrees at 828. I'm gonna put the windows back up. And I'm gonna check out my weight bill. There it is, lift truck, 110,000 pounds, okay. And 13 hours, 38 minutes. So we got it. Back to the map here. There's Phoenix, we're in the northeast section. Sort of near Scottsdale. And let's head out and go deliver this monster. Articulated trailer, huh? I can see it back there through my back window. That thing is a big sucker. Well, this will be an interesting ride. Getting out of town is going to be the most difficult part. <coughs> Plaster and Sons. Hardcore construction. UDS making there. Deliveries. Good to see nobody here right now. Should be plenty of room to get out. Alright. Look out. My trailer back there, buddy. USBV. United States beverage. This is going to be kind of a slow go. Until I get to where I need to, need to be. Seventh Street, the Patriot Store at Seventh Street. You should get your your um, ooh rifle ammunition. Army surplus store. See the sun coming up back there. I think it turns in this thing is gonna be something, isn't it? I apologize to everybody. I'm gonna encounter on the highway. Light traffic here at 8.36 a.m. on Wednesday. Again, looking forward to the regular season starting up soon. Taking her wide. There go. Made it. Look at that. It's like I know what I'm doing. Alright. Pick up some speed down the hill here, though, right? It's 90 degrees. Good to have the windows closed. I think I'm going to be at a turning. I'm going to be watching for signs more than GPS. Uh, LA, nope. Straight through there's the city. Our wonderful city of Phoenix. Okay, now before midday, 90 degrees already. It's not even 9 o'clock. I'm right at the edge there. I got to be. I guess. I guess this thing is a little wide. I got some room on the right side. I rode it a mile. I'm stepping on the gas and I'm about 50. That's funny. Yeah, so I want to get a new truck, hire a new driver. Give this to, to my new driver and then move on to something new. I guess that means straight away. You can see the city out there. So we're heading south through Phoenix. Towards um, Maricopa. Ashkenaz playing belt. Okay, welcome. I don't know if this is Pete or not. Pete, I'm taking a some sort of a loader from Phoenix to Tucson. Now that I've moved my operation, my Arizona operations to Phoenix, I bought it in the garage here in Glendale, on the northwest edge of town. And then I sold the garage at Flagstaff. So now I'm going to Yuma because there's a truck dealer there, and I don't know what kind. And I need either, my next truck's either going to be an International or a Mac. Presumably, you've been to Yuma and haven't noticed any Mac dealers. I think the first one you said was up there. I'm not 
Frank Curl in, but uh, up in Idaho. Lewiston or something. Um, so, oh boy. So I assume it's not. Maybe it's an international deal. Now I got an international deal right in Phoenix. So is it international? I don't recall what I need now. Because if, yeah, if I need an international, I would have just bought one down the street. Is that... Was that what I just did? Did I just leave town? Having a dealer that I can use. Oh, this is going to be great driving around here with this thing bring it out wide. Even going wide, I'm still crossing the line there. I'm standing on the gas pedal. This is... Out there. It is 94 degrees. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. Heat. But they warned me before I left town that this truck was going to... was going to have some trouble dealing with this. Do I have my lights on? No, they're off. Okay. Burns though. Goodness. I've got really no shoulder over there on the right. I'm not as worried about that as I am about <coughs> traffic coming around here. Mexico border here. <coughs> Tucson is east, San Diego is the west. Look out, buddy. Just making sure he wasn't going straight across. I don't know why he would. But. All right. I did not hit the sign, did I? Nice. This thing is a bear. <coughs> Makes you appreciate those standard loads. Oh, and I got something coming out here. Okay, he's going. Or he's letting me in. He did not have to. He should not have. Yeah, look at this thing. It even takes a while to render out the whole oversized load. Thing is a bear driving through the desert. Just putting this thing in pieces. stretch of highway before, but maybe once. I remember coming from Yuma towards Phoenix. Like, a long time ago. Need to force $100 down. <laughs> we must be getting closer to L.A. $75. Well, I don't have to worry about that. So as far as my garage goes, the uh, <coughs> car mechanic place. Oh, I'd stop if I could. We're getting the bus. It is 95 degrees at 11 a.m. Um, car mechanic simulator. I haven't <coughs> haven't been out that way in a while. It doesn't look like we played Tacoma until the end of the season. I don't know when that's going to happen. I'm just going, it's a 75, but I'm going 50. I'm going 60 right now, I guess. I think I got my cruise set for 55, but I'm coming downhill. 
and using that momentum. And I'm over a little bit because I don't want to be hanging over to their lanes. Got a Walbert canvas. Sixty going a mile a minute. One hundred eighteen thousand pounds of some kind of loader. That guy's got his top down ninety six mile ninety six degrees. That's one thing. If they wanted to get a little bit more realism, they could do something like with the convertibles. Put their close their tops when it's ninety six degrees out or raining. Sometimes it'll be like raining super hard and. See convertible driving by, top down. Walterson's got a sign up at the rest stop. Well, you used to remember if you're going between Yuma and Phoenix, it's a good spot to rest if you have to. If you're running low on sleep. I like that mirror on the bottom, it's good, it, it extends out a little bit. Got that on the other side as well. But yeah, I like this. I like this truck. I mean, I'm gonna be. There's my coffee. I'm gonna be uh, kind of excited to move on to something else. But my mints. I got all the accoutrement wallet down there. I got all the accoutrements, and that is my, my uh, job book. And obviously the, the, the you know, compass. Big deal. You know, I got all the charge keys and stuff. I think Tonopa. Gallon. I want a little bit more in the gallon. It's wide open. I'd say Yuma County. Enter Yuma County. All right, so we're getting closer. 97 degrees. I think. I think the highest, the Dateline. The highest the um, temperature goes in game is 98. I don't think they push it up into the hundreds. So they've obviously never been to the American Southwest in person. It could be 112 out here. Dateline. I thought it was Dateline. Place for fuel down there. A GP instead of a BP. So yeah, geez, I, I didn't jot anything down to talk about. I meant to <coughs> sell my garage and then take one more load from Flagstaff down to Phoenix, but I just kind of, you saw, I just kind of uh, packed things up and had everything shipped for me. Yeah, it'd be interesting to determine what that guy's looking for and what he's doing out there. I'm guessing they're looking for border crossers, right? We are close. Mexico border. Drug smugglers or something. We got a piece back in, in the drawer there for self protection, of course. No self respecting driver would travel without a sidearm. For insurance. Yuma. Quartzite, two miles. All right, here we come. We're getting out of town. I hope it's not difficult getting to the... I, know, I think I know where the real depot is, although I think it's at the southern edge of town. We may have to go through town to get to it. Sun. Shot that. Where are we going to... Darshell is out. Sla is it slant or some slant? Slant. I don't speak Gaelic. 
the city, city limits. It is midday, 1 o'clock a.m., 97 degrees. That's a half mile. I'm just tapping the brake to see what it is. Okay, that's different than the other thing, so it sounds like I'm getting off here. Coming down a hill with 118,000 pounds. It sounds like Japanese, although it could be Korean. We need to stop at the side here. It just looks hot out there, doesn't it? So on the off this thing takes up like a half mile. I got a tour. Not a tour bus, but like a greyhound kind of a thing behind me here. I'm going to make the trip. U.S. Highway 95. Here we go. Passing under the 8. Alright, I'll see. You. I'm going to have to go right after I come out of here, so I do not want to hit these cars. Swing wide on this next turn up ahead too. Looks like I'm, I'm in the lane next to me just a bit. Nobody there. 98 degrees. There we go. One o'clock p.m. It's a late lunch after this. I may wait, yeah, I was gonna say I may wait till this guy clears out before I make my right turn anyway. But I got a UDS truck there. Okay, he cleared. I got the arrow, but I could still go. But I gotta come around wide on this, so I'm gonna use this lane. front say here you go guys ding me on the experience because I can't get this beast where you need it this thing is crazy it's pushing me down the hill yeah, I know I'm speeding but that's alright unless that's a police car I haven't been a Yuma in a long time. Alright, I got another turn here. Two more turns. Arizona Avenue. I think I'm going to get my right turn. So that is the Walbert, the Yuma Walbert. Hold on. I'm coming around. I'm coming around. Don't, don't pull all the way up yet. Don't pull all the way up yet. I need to make this turn. What is this? A guy dressed in a hot dog outfit? Glad there are no police cars around to, to ticket me. That guy slowed down, he wasn't sure what to do. Uh, oh, I gotta make the light, gotta make the light. Oh, this is, this is something. Look at this. I gotta go around left, look back over right. This is an articulated trailer. They, they have to... They have 
enough to allow me to park this thing somewhere simple, right? Oh, yes. Okay, alright, yes. You are my best friend, buddy. You are... I mean, they have to do that. With an articulated trailer this long, they can't have you back this crap in anywhere. They just know... Hey, buddy. They just know that this thing is going to be... a bear. Okay, I guess I do have to back it up a little. But it's articulated. I can't even see where I'm backing this thing out to. Did I hit something? Uh -uh. Oh, uh, yeah, it bent around. Okay, let's see here. Oops, ah! Ah! Here we go. I don't know how you would do this even. Shoot, as easy as this was supposed to be. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, crap. Oops, oops, oops. I'm just gonna have to do it. I'm gonna leave it like this. All right, you guys got your trailer. That's it. Excellent. Yeah, I got dinged on not being able to park it. Uh, if I would have come in wider, coming in, that would have been that would have been it. Shit. Now I gotta get around this thing. Sorry about my language. <coughs> I gotta find out what this is. That's where we're going. Yes, yes, exactly. So this guy knows what, what I'm talking about. down a degree. Alright, there we hauled that thing from Phoenix. Have fun with that, people. That thing is crazy. They're gonna get that thing on a train. That thing is a train. Alright, take a left out of here, right? Hey, Hartwood. We're a long way down from the Pacific Northwest. Kind of stuck at this light. But It's a little windy here. Here's your divorce lawyer. Divorce lawyer again. Discount lawyer. Hundred dollars down. Oh, the good people of Yuma. Are. We're getting broken up. The kids can't can't make it. Yeah, 
that's quite a stop by a guy. Two stops? You gotta stop twice? See, I did it. <laughs> There's the guy. Oh, nobody on my right. That sucks to be in that thing. It's 97 degrees out. At three, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. No, 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 that's humiliating. That's a job, isn't it? I can't even see if it's a green light or not. New construction here in Yuma? Off of Amada Avenue? Amada? Where the heck am I going? I'm in town here. I'm just checking out the... Whatever. Um dealership this is. It says 40 miles an hour. Oh, it's just 40 at that point. It was 30. Now I'm making time. A little shade under that tree. Hearts. It's been the night of hearts if you had to. Right here I came in from this direction. I'm going to go straight across. US Highway 95. I am on. Uh, I can't see the road I'm on. There we go. No, 16th Avenue. 16th and Highway 95 in Tucson, Arizona. No, I'm sorry. Yuma, Arizona. If you, and if you buy a garage, you'll be right there. About as close to Mexico as you can be. Peterbilt. I've got Peterbilt's coming out of my. Uh, go ahead, buddy. Oh boy. Alright, well. Thank you. Shoot. I've got Peterbilt. Now, if I, if I find out that I had. <coughs> a truck dealer that I why is it not discovering it didn't it discover it it needed to discover this thing hold on I did discover it. Okay. All right. There's the garage. It's next to it here. So, oh. all right. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Truck. I need a truck dealer. Truck dealers. Why am I? Why am I having a hard, why am I having a hard time finding oh, truck dealers? Okay. <clears throat> oh, what do I? What do I have first? Truck manager. Two Kenworths, two Peterbilts, two Volvos, international. I have an international. And there's an international driver right there, or dealer right there in Arizona. No, it's a Kenworth in Phoenix. It's a Kenworth, not an international. It's international from Flagstaff. All right, so this is Peterbilt. Volvo, Peterbilt, so I guess the international one is my closest, but I don't know what's in San Diego or Carlsbad. <sighs> Crap. I knew all of the Arizona dealers. Volvo in Tucson, Kenworth in Phoenix, Peterbilt in Yuma, and International Flagstaff. I don't know what's in Vegas. Maybe I head up to Vegas real quick to see if there's <clears throat> what's in Vegas? I should know what's there. It's where I'm headquartered. <laughs> Let's go into Vegas. <clears throat> Los Angeles, San Diego. What about if I look at El Centro? Olympia Barstow. What if I look at Ehrenberg? Give to Tucson, Oakland, Loma Gordo, Las 
Santa Maria, that's where the farm is. Los Angeles, San Diego. Well, I was talking about San Diego, wasn't I? Sugar, 41,000 pounds to the Eddies in San Diego. And I could see what... All right. Let's do one more. Sipatsimash. I think I should be good for sleep. Alright. Let's see if we can make it to San Diego in time to buy a new truck. traffic here. I don't know if I'm going to make this light. 1.36 p.m. I was supposed to be getting ready for bed at midnight at my time, which is like four minutes, three minutes. But I got another run here. I don't know if I'm going to make it to pick this load up. If I don't, I'll have to spend the day in Yuma and then check the market out in the morning. Here we are. I don't know if I'm going to make the light though. Because I don't know if they get those like, random brake tests. Look at that. What is that? And he's going straight. No, okay, he's turning. These guys, at least these guys are turning. Kind of the Escalade. And the Think about it. Go, lady. Just do it. Ooh, taco Kingdom. I feel like a taco by now. 1.40 p.m. 97 degree heat. Feels like Mexico. It's right down, right over there. There we go. Thirty-three minutes it was to pick this thing up. I don't know if we're gonna get there in time. I'm gonna go through here, which means I'm gonna be speeding. Because it dips to 30 miles an hour to the bridge for some weird reason. It's just I'm going 20. Oh, there's a Walbert. Oh, there's the green. Arrow. Can I make it? Aha, I knew it. I didn't want to slam on the gas and then missing it. Well, here we are. Humor. humor. Stupid mouse. My mouse sucks. Construction. Fire department next to me. Get ready to go here. Nice old car. Oops. Ma'am. Arizona Avenue. All right, here we go. There's a police car right there too. I may have missed this this time for this window here. Let's check it out. Freight market. Oh, San Diego, there is 32 minutes still. I think I'm going to LA, but we're just going to take this one sugar, 41,000 pounds to Eddie's in San Diego. Take, take the job. Oh, okay. Which one? Is it the front or the back? It's in the front here. Okay. Oh, there it is. Bay number fifth. No, bay number four. Right? Yeah, bay four. Right? Yes. 
I, I'm, I'm, I don't know why I was confused about that. There we go. Forty something thousand pounds of sugar. Sweet. Get it? I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. All right, let's put the let's roll the landing gear up here. All right. As Shelby says, the gear goes toward the direction, toward whatever you're you're. Do, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Um. Well, we got a half sleep. We may end up missing this because we got to go to sleep. Within eight hours and 15 minutes. Next for stuff. They need it by Wednesday, 9.58 p.m. Mm -mm. Okay, we, we may have done something wrong, but we will see, shall we? See, why, do, why didn't you speak up when we did this? Now we might not make our delivery on time. Because there's a dumb idea being it's okay. We're gonna get some new wheels, you know? Oh my gosh, what the heck? Can I go I can go around. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, yeah. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have the GPS recalculate. Because I ain't going to make this traffic out of here if I cannot get caught on the fence. And I can't. I can't. Maybe. Just maybe. Okay, traffic. Looks like traffic's going to... Traffic's gonna go. Oh come on! I'm blocking traffic coming this way. Ugh! A pain in the neck. Come on, light. Midday. 1.56 p.m. on Wednesday. It's like this lunchtime crowd. And they gotta stop because that guy turned. It's a green light! You don't stop for oncoming... Oh, he's turning. What a nightmare. At least he's gotta finish his turn. Holy crap. Yeah, you know what? I'm tempted to... Oh. It is a simulator. <laughs> Complete with messed up traffic and all that. And I'm contending with sleep issues. Should have. I should indicate. <laughs> Get, get. Jeez. He's a kick, right? He's gonna wait for me? Well, hey, either do it or don't. You know, but I mean, don't start going if I. Come on, buddy, watch out for me. Don't hit me. Need a build. This is how I came into Yuma the first time. I got my windows closed, right? Yeah, okay. I forgot I don't have as long of a rig behind me. Alright, we're gonna head to San Diego, home of the platypi and the um
planet pie and the moon stars. Vic, both teams made some good, some good off-season moves this year. I can't recall who, who left. I know. I mean, last season the uh, Moon Stars let go of uh, um, Rodney Park, who's now playing for the Sandcats. Although <coughs> I do remember they picked up Junior Young Junior. So Junior Young was playing for the Sawtooth out in San Jose last season. The team makes the playoffs. He's their backup catcher but behind his father. And uh, they cut him loose after the last game of the regular season, just, just before I entered the playoffs. So, I know it's like, you know, it's AI, but that's some crap. I'll tell you that right now. Um, Oops. Unusual little desert rain out here right now. 97 degrees and raining. <laughs> um, so anyway, he goes, he sits out the playoffs on no team. His father retires from the saw team. He he's let go. Oops, sorry. Um, <coughs> and uh, <coughs> got picked up in the offseason to play for the Moon Stars. So he goes from San Jose down to San Diego. So we'll play against them. The Moon Stars are in our conference, so we're going to play them twice once in. Phoenix and one's out here in San Diego. Well, Central, yeah, boy, look at the, those clouds. It doesn't look like it's going to lighten up any. We're going to be in the rain the rest of this trip. I'm glad I accidentally turned on my lights. I like the wheel wash and stuff there. That's pretty cool. Desert needs an El Central City living. Oh, I didn't check the population of El Central. storm in the background. Let's grab one of these. Oops, why am I off the line a little bit there? The weather. Driving from Walberts. Got a lot of jitter coming off of that. Switching the camera angle. It is out there. I don't know what that stutter's from. It's only when I look towards Mexico. There's some stuff, I don't know what they're growing. It's up by the river. Heading west on the 8th, so yeah, head back into California, and then I gotta get back. Maybe Pete and I will do another hunt before we, maybe we'll do Pete, let's do Quattro Colinas. Or wait, is that, yeah, we did, we did park it for now, let's do, let's fly to Spain and do Quattro Colinas before we, um, before we come back, I'll have, I'll have the truck ship back to Phoenix. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure I'll find a way to drive back before we now and then we'll fly out to Spain, do one more hunt, maybe do one more golf, and then we start the regular season up. Speed limit 55. Something tells me I should not be going 55 with 40,000 pounds of sugar behind me there. And turns like these. Trucks. That's me. Passing into the storm here. Looks like it's getting light on the other side. It is 3:30 p.m. So 
I started this thing out in Phoenix, went to Yuma, and now heading over to San Diego. And I didn't see the California sign yet, but I'm... Wait, we left California when we left Yuma. Right, we were basically in California right away. Alright, here we go. out here. Going up the hill. Things get pretty green after a rain like that. West of El Centro. What do we got here? Way station? Yeah, I haven't been on this stretch of road, I guess, between Luma and San Diego. I didn't know that. This, this little stretch between Luma and San Diego, I would have figured I would have been there. Please, please pull in for a vehicle inspection. Alright. I had to slow down anyway. An RV coming up on my right. Oh boy. Last time I got an inspection in California, I got a trailer violation with the um, ethane I was carrying, but I think sugar is acceptable. Sugar. Stop it right here. Oh, gross weight, 76.6. Thank you for your cooperation. Have a nice day. See you later, chips. Oh, I'm supposed to be going 15 out of here? You gotta be kidding. Oh, well, I'm in California. Maybe I'll do some research as to where my California garage will be. But I still have, I still have two more bays to fill. Nobody, I'm not going to hire anyone for Phoenix, but i got to hire a driver. I'll send this truck up to, oh, where do I go next? I guess I'll, I want to fill out Vegas. So I'll hire, I'll buy a new truck. I'll drive it. I'll send this to Vegas for the new driver that I'm going to hire for Las Vegas. Then I'll have three in Las Vegas, three in Phoenix two at Salt Lake, and then when I get enough money to buy another truck, I'll have three in each location. And then maybe I'll, I want to have a trailer for each location as well. It's neat coming in, seeing I have not come into San Diego this way. So it's kind of neat coming in from the, from the east. San Diego Truck Show Week. I'm sorry, I got itched my head. That's what the, the nodding was. The Uncon. I don't know what that is. Sale market. What they call a, a rolling stop back right in front. Look out, buddy. Look out. Thank you. I would hawk, but he really didn't seem to do much. Last time I was in Diego, we were here to play the plat of pie. Am I way over the line? I'm way over the line, aren't I? Police car rolls up. I'm getting a ticket. Plat of pie. I'm just going to even further out. Made it to the playoffs. And lost, I think, in the first round. To the Sandcats, I think, the Phoenix beat him. The, um... Oh, he's gonna let me go? Wow, okay. Whatevs. Thank you. The Moon Stars did not make it. And I like both San Diego teams. I like the Planet Pie and the Moon Stars, but I had to pick. 
think I prefer the moon stars. Never really thought about where Pete and I would go after the the bee wolves. It's kind of an exciting thing to consider, except I really like it there. I mean, I we technically don't have to play for any other teams, but it might be interesting to try. But we got all this next season and the season after, so we're it's kind of nice to have that set out so that we don't have to some other stuff. think about it and, and say, I don't know, do we do it, do we not do it? We just, where's the, where's the loading bay here? I'm on the left. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Um, oh shoot. Okay, I think I can do this. Oh crap, though, I've got the wall there. Oh, uh, and I gotta, ugh. Can I drive around this place? Where's the where's the GPS? I cannot go around the back. Alright, sorry people. Darn it. Freaking hate eddies. And I'm not backing in there. I need to kind of come around. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Check traffic. Let's see, stupid mouse. Okay, I need traffic to stop though. But I can't. I can't do it yet. Come on, buddy. Pick up the pick up the pace. This guy's like, what? Okay, here we go. We're going to make this happen. But the traffic, the freaky traffic in Diego here. Let's get out to the zoo over here. Look out, buddy. Look out. Thank you. Right, the way we're going to have to do this is kind of like, oops. Ah, yeah, blow it. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to come over your curb here, people. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to back up. I'm going to the right. Of this. What a nightmare. Eddie's is. These little shops. At least at least have me come in the bay like a normal a normal person, right? Perfect. Head on out. 
outside. Here we are at the Eddies in San Diego, California. There's some Moonstar fans here and some Planet Pi fans. Looking forward to seeing Junior Young Jr. play for their team this year. <laughs> We're taking a crack at the Beatles. <coughs> That's big on my license plate. Oh, come on. It's tough to make this next level. I, I need to see where this dealer is. So as I can go there, and then I'll spend the night, I guess, at this, whatever this is, hotel? Or no, I guess there's the dealer. Maybe I'll drive out there to spend the night. All right, let's, let's make it to the dealer. We're going to drive around San Diego for a little bit here. Shupatsumasu. Right, Shupatsumasu. All right. Throw our windows back up just because just of the noise. <laughs> Went in, used the bathroom. Got a refill on my, on my what's it called? Coffee break. I think that's the name of the company. Because I'm getting tired and it's getting close to close to sleepy time. But first I gotta see what kind of dealer they got here. Here you go. Down San Diego, California. What is going on? San Diego traffic here. Eighty seven degrees, five o'clock in the afternoon. Nice looking place though. to make a turn. That's why we're stuck here. It's a van. Leisure van. I'm not turning it. What's it called here? They don't list their street names? <coughs> 24 News. Covering your moon stars and your platypi. I know. I can't get I can't get baseball off the mind. I get it. I'm getting get we're getting closer. It's getting exciting. Boar's Market and Video Games. Seven Seagulls. Little R V park there. If you're coming to San Diego to do a beat the low cost way. Colonial Plaza's out here. Someplace. I figure it's probably southwestern San Diego. There's the city up ahead, so it would be out that way. I've been to San Diego in real life, been to the zoo. It was a beautiful city. It was, oddly enough though, I went there one year, my wife was there on business and I just went with, just to go to San Diego. And, uh, it, was in the, it was in the 70s in Chicago that weekend and it was only in the 50s in San Diego. 50s and rainy. It was the weirdest thing. They're like, yeah, this is not typical San Diego weather. And I said, I know. You know, it's warmer and nicer back home in Chicago. Peterbilt. It is a Peterbilt. Of course. Wait, why is it not? Okay, there it is. Discovered. I'm like, it didn't discover it. To have that on my map. I'm going to go up to the sleep place and take a rest. Because I don't know where I need to go to find out what's where. There's the gas station. I don't need fuel, right? I got a half a tank. But they have to take a guess. I've never been in this section of town. Is 
city's mostly to my left here. Northland. Alright, I'm gonna pull my map out real quick. Yeah, I wanna go I wanna go sleep over here. If you're gonna buy a garage in San Diego, it'd be right right down this way. Spot Shimas. Maybe I'll get some Chinese takeout. I'll eat and then go to bed. Hearts. We got hoods out here. Near to wells. <laughs> the city. I forget the city's. Yeah, the city's back that way. So it looks like we're sort of north. Wait, I'm heading north now. I'm south of the city. So where's the ocean? I don't get it. I'm heading. Wait, no, that's. Can't read the thing. North is that way. I'm heading west. Yeah, okay, so yeah, so the city's to my right, the ocean's straight ahead. The city's up that way, so yeah, Colonial Plaza's like about the direction I'm looking. The marketplace. Fun place to visit San Diego. Long lights though. I don't know what Northland is, but it, the signs are all over the place here. Maybe it's a storage? Storage area? Or maybe it's a mall? I don't know. The sign is on for that building, but I can't tell if that building is... Is it? Oops, sorry, here you go. Oh! Why did he... What the heck was that? Did you see that crap? I'm going straight across. He just pulls out in front of me. And I gotta pay for the damage? I think I was going to make a left turn in front of me. But, Jack. But. <laughs> now I gotta get repaired. This. Oh, that's crap. That's crap, I says. I'm not looking for that. I'm... Oh, wait, there's city down there, too. There's city to the right and to the left, so we're kind of in it here. Um. So I guess Colonial Plaza would be down that way. I don't know. Oh shoot. How am I gonna get this thing fixed? It's HMS. Look on it. How much damage was there? I guess I was just taking so long to get to the intersection that the guy didn't know what to do. Know it would be neat if they did show damage on this though. I mean, I guess you know people would just be wrecking their trucks just to see it happen. But maybe if I had you know collision damage in the front left. Well, this sucks, so I'm gonna have to come out next time. And there we are. Okay, got the windows up, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to stay at the hotel here in San Diego, and then next time... Do I have my lights on? There we go. I'll take a dip in the pool, even. Looks, looks nice. And then, yeah, then hit the sack. So, let's see, what, what the heck... Where do I get repaired? Repairs are back there. I'll have to hit the repairs before I leave town. But, alright. Thanks for watching. Good night.